Welcome back to another Torch review. This time I'm looking at the Nightcore P30i and this was sent in via the company for a review. As I normally do, I just run through some of the included items and give you some specs on screen. As there's no output ratings, I've just put that up there on the screen for you to have a look at. We'll unbox it. it comes in quite a nice package. They do have a few different bundles for this, but this particular one gives you the user guide, warranty card, type C to type A cable. There's a remote trigger that's included. And you can see there, there's a clip on the top there to prevent it from slipping off. Here's a remote switch. There are actually just two switches. You just got the top part there with the three. That's one. And the one closest to the cable, that's another one. 16340 or CR123A adapter. And what this does is basically mimics the battery that's included because this is using a different type of battery. They do give you a clip and a spare O-ring. Out the box you'll see that it is fitted to the holster so I might as well just show you that quickly. It's a quite a substantial holster, good amount of padding on this. That D-ring on the back, that is actually metal, quite a thick one. There's your Velcro and you also have a belt loop that's sewn in underneath that. Because this is a larger torch and there's a bit more weight to it, you're obviously going to want to have something a bit more substantial with the holster, and I think it's perfectly fine. Finally, moving on to the torch, you can see the dimensions and weight on the screen. It is definitely quite a chunky torch, with a slim body with quite a large head, and you can see those grooves there. I do like the switch on this, it's metal and it's slightly recessed. Those deep grooves should give us longer run times at the higher power levels simply creates a larger area which is better for cooling there's your switch on the base or tail cap and right next to that is the type c port there is an led next to that which is the charging indicator nice large smooth reflector with this torch and a very well known emitter xhp35 Here's the bezel on the top you can see you've got a sort of crenulated area so you can see if it's on if you put it head down interesting thing with this is you can unscrew it so i'll just show you that quickly one reason i picked up a macro lens is so i can get nice and close show you some of these details it's quite a thick o-ring on that you can see the silicone and here's a look inside just to some of the components very neat and tidy very clean soldering so if you're into your modding, this is going to be pretty easy to get to. You can play around in there if you want to. I'll unscrew the base cap now. You can see there's the contact points and that one in the middle is actually spring loaded. And the reason it's a different configuration is that we've got an I-type custom battery where you have the positive and negative at the top. You can charge this in most chargers. I think Nightcore have a list of their own chargers that you can use but um, you'll only be able to use this battery in the torch and charge it. And the adapter that you get, it basically copies the design by giving you the positive and negative at the top, but you can't charge the 16340 cells in the torch. So it's useful as a backup. The 18650 batteries, they're too big, uh, they won't fit into the adapter. When you insert the battery into the torch, you will see the voltage check comes up. You can see that flashing out. In addition to that, you do have the three stage power indicator with that switch LED, and that's on all the time when the torch is powered. I did attach the clip to the torch, but I personally can't see me using this very much purely because the head diameter is much larger on this torch. So it's not really gonna stay in place that well. It does seem strong enough. I just don't think it particularly works that well for this torch unless you just wanted to attach a wrist strap to it. What I'll do now is show you attaching the remote switch and that's also using the type C connector. You can see that clip hooks in under the rim and you have to actually pull that out quite hard to get it out. So that won't come off by accident. That's quite a nice design. Move on now to the UI, full press on and off and your half press gives you a momentary. To get to the turbo, when it's off, just push and hold and that stays in as long as it's held in. If it's on, just a long press and then a single press will take you back to the previous level. Quick press to cycle through the five power levels. There's quite a nice feedback on the switch with this torch. And then strobe when it's off, triple press and then single press and hold. will then cycle through the two strobes that you have. Onto the remote switch now, and you'll notice there is one difference with the strobe, which I'll get onto in a second. Button A, 
that's closest to the cable, just a single press on and off. The top buttons, they will cycle the power levels when the torch is on. Doesn't matter which of the three buttons you press, they all do the same thing. And it also doubles as a momentary when the torch is off, just push and hold and it will go into the last power level that you're on. And here's the strobe UI for you as well. So I find it quite simple enough. You do pick it up quite easily. Charging speed was a little bit over one amp, perhaps expected it to get up to about 1.5 amps. Also note that you do have the voltage level flash out when you disconnect the type C connector. I put the user guide up on screen for you to have a quick look. And now we're gonna move on to the beam shots. We'll start off with the unicorn, moderate output, mixed beam, 850 lumens. Next up is the Jetbeam 3MS. That's sort of a slightly more throwy torch compared to some, although just over 300 meters. Onto the P30i, you can see the medium level. Then I'll go up to the high, 1000 lumens. It does start to spread out the beam pattern. You get a bit more fill on the outside, but you've got that intense hot spot there in the middle, which is of course where we're getting the additional range from on this torch. I've done a few extra beam shots with this torch out on location just to give you a bit more idea with the range. So have a look at those and I will come back at the end, give you a few thoughts on this particular model. Quick summary on the P30i, quite enjoyed using this torch, got a very nice beam pattern on it. There are a few points to note and those are fairly obvious some of them. The first is you are limited to those custom cells so you're going to have to decide if that's a problem for you. For some reason you can't get the normal strobe mode unless you're using the remote so that's a slightly strange quirk to an otherwise fairly intuitive UI. There are quite a few upsides though, we do have the Type-C charging port. It could be a bit quicker, but the charging speed is acceptable. Very good bundle with this, nice quality holster. You do get that remote switch as well. And it did hold its power level quite well, although do bear in mind it is still fairly cold at the minute, and that would obviously not hold up as well in hot weather conditions. Be interested to hear if you've got any thoughts on this torch, if you've used it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.